Welcome to Lutron's How-To Series. In this segment, we'll show you how to install a dimmer for a single pole application. In this application, a single switch controls one lighting fixture or a group of lighting fixtures. To install your dimmer, you'll need the mounting hardware and wire connectors that came with your dimmer, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver. You may also need a flathead screwdriver to remove your existing switch, as well as wire cutters, wire strippers, pliers, and electrical tape. If your dimmer came with a wall plate attached to it, carefully remove the wall plate by grasping the top and pulling it forward. If you purchased your wall plate separately, carefully pull the front and back pieces of the wall plate apart. A trick you might find useful is to attach the back piece called the wall plate adapter to your dimmer before installing it. This helps ensure a straight, clean installation, but you can also attach the wall plate adapter after installing your dimmer. Before you begin, turn the power to your switch off at the breaker. Test the switch you'll be removing to make sure power is cut off before continuing. Now you can remove your existing wall plate and the screws mounting the switch and carefully pull the switch away from the wall. You might find a bundle of white wires in the back of the wall box. You won't be using these wires, so you can leave them in place. You'll find a green wire or screw on your switch connected to a green or bare copper wire in your wall box. This is your ground wire. You'll find two or possibly three additional wires attached to either screws on the switch or stabbed into the back of the switch. Note, if two wires are attached to the same screw or stabbed into the back of the switch, keep them as a pair throughout the installation. If the wires are attached to screws, use your Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the screws and then remove the wires from the switch. If the wires are stabbed into the back of the switch, insert your flat head screwdriver into the space above and below each wire and pull the wire out. If you have a hard time pulling the wires out, simply cut them off using the wire cutters. Then use your screwdriver to loosen the green screw and remove the ground wire from the switch. To install your dimmer, first connect your ground wire from your dimmer to your wall box. Remember, you'll be connecting a green wire on the dimmer to a green or bare copper wire in the wall box. Connect the two wires by twisting the ends together clockwise and capping them using a wire connector that was included with your dimmer. Twist tightly in the same way you would screw a lid onto a tube of toothpaste. Make sure you don't leave any bare wire exposed. If there is bare wire exposed, unscrew the wire connector and remove the wires, trim the ends of the wires with wire cutters, and then recap the wires. Next, connect one of the remaining wall box wires to one of the brass screw terminals on the dimmer. Then do the same with the other wall box wire. If these wires were originally stabbed into the back of the switch, you may not have enough wire with which to work. In that case, you'll need to cut and strip the wires before attaching them. Remember, if you had two wires that you're keeping as a pair, make sure to connect those two wires to the dimmer. If there's a blue screw on your dimmer, simply tighten it, as you won't be using it. Now you can mount your dimmer to the wall using the screws included with your dimmer and a Phillips head screwdriver. If you didn't attach your wall plate adapter before installation, place it over the dimmer using the provided screws, making sure that it's level before securing it. Finally, snap the front of the wall plate into place. If you're using your original wall plate, put it back on the way you took it off. You can now turn the power back on at the breaker. Remember, if you have any questions about installing your dimmer, please call Lutron's Technical Support at 1-800-523-9466. Technical support staff are available to help you with any installation question 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.